All right. I love that they kept Devil May Cry 1 sound effects. I didn't even notice at the time. Mm. Like, people might say, oh, that's lazy. I don't give a fuck. The, no, cool. the, no the, the sound of, like, collecting orbs and getting gems and the little bings and dings all are very distinct to the franchise. All right, so we have... Wouldn't want those to change. A shocking four secrets in view right now. We have this, which is just orbs. Smash it for orbs. And smash it as hard as you possibly can for orbs. Mm -hmm. Delicious, delicious orbs. You'll, you'll never get enough. Yeah, in fact, I will be often redoing miss missions off screen in order to get more orbs. Right. For moves. For the peoples. You also have this blue orb fragment returning from the first game. You also have this, which will actually leave for the moment. And you have a secret mission here. Oh, there's five, and there's a hidden health item. Oh, so Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. Let's let's get over yeah. to the god of time and space and do what needs to be done, which is switch the fuck back to Swordmaster. Apologies to those of you who prefer the other styles, but Swordmaster and Trickster are gonna be by far the orders of this. This I mean, if you're gonna show off other styles, do it early on. Yeah, this <laughs> is uh, I'm not even gonna bother showing off Royal Guard, or I'll show it off in like I, I don't have a good place to do it because I'm so bad at it. Oh, okay. This is something that ended up in the series going forward, and I can't wait for the five versions. This is a combat adjudicator. These things are great. You hit it. Oh. But a little bit more. How do I... Oh! oh! Look at that! So, okay. basic, these are style bosses. It requires you to have an understanding of the style system. To actually get them to open up. And they, as they go on through the game, they will have increasing difficulty levels. This yeah. one only requires B. B, so you're fine. Those... Later on, they will require a lot more than that. <laughs> like, S rank this dummy. They're also weapon specific. Yeah. Which means, no, get good. And we have a secret mission here, which I may or may not be able to beat because it's quite difficult when you start the game. Just, uh, enjoy the strip club party. I mean, this is the entertainment, really. This is where the... This is what everyone came to see. So this one... Yeah, the main thing, if I remember right, was... Basically, stinger to everyone and just kill them. Because style doesn't matter here. It's just time. It's just time. I gotta kill all these guys within... 30 seconds. Uh, sorry, one minute. And I have already failed it. I can fucking feel that I have. Uh, it's tight, but no, you might be okay. So these guys, every every one of these, uh, what are they called? They're the sins. Gets physically stronger than the last one. The the seven health. Oh, I did it. Yeah. Oh, that was yeah. easier than I thought. This is obviously easier if you have your level uh, mission eight ability for sure. Oh, we're, we're, we'll get there. But, uh, we'll get there. And look at that. We have now done 100% of the things in Mission 3. Which will allow me to... I have 14k. I'm gonna buy Drive. And after that, Wooly, I promise you, the next move will be Air Hype. Hey, man. It's like... But Drive is the shit, for real, though. So the variety in this game, I have no fucking. So we now have at my thing. disposal one, two, three. We have one, three. We have uh, what? No, sorry. This, which you can now do out of a stinger. We have prop shredder. We have the other prop shredder, and we have aerial rave. Shredder. So holding the button, we'll do this. Letting go of the button, we'll do that. And if you hold it and start mashing, come on, drive, drive. No, oh, is that later? Oh, that's later with the upgrade, I guess. No, there is no upgrade. On. That's four only. Oh, oh, we miss. We miss Whoops. Whoops. Also, that's all. That's DMC Double May Cry too. That's Dante. That's Dino. With the drive, drive, drive. Come on. 
Oh well, yeah, I guess. Maybe I just remember the timing wrong. It's possible. Anyway, Regardless he... of that shit, we're in the Ice Guardian's chamber. He fucking shoots three of them out and it's red. I fucking forgot that every single room is named. Every single room in the game, you get a little, a little, uh, little, little thing little of tag. where you are. Yeah, yeah, same here. That's cool. It is. So, anyone, take a quick guess. What do you think? This what's, is this what's, 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 what's this character's name? What is the character's name? What, what, what could it possibly be? You have uh, about a minute or two before the boss title shows up. Uh, Try Doggo. No, oh, shh, I'm ruining it. Hellwoofer. Hellwoofer's pretty good. If you walk through the end of this night, you will be powerless. I'm not worthy to say what you Oh, he's chained up. How sad. I've never seen a talking mutt before. You know, in a dog show, you definitely take first place. So the, the characters in DMC1 were annoyed at Dante's shenanigans. <laughs> yeah. But here it's like, ha ha ha, jokes. And then every single one goes, right, fuck, Dante. It's like. But also, it's because it's a human. Yeah. So why the fuck, you know what I mean? Would a human not be shitting their pants at, in, in their demon presence? Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, all of you that guessed Ice Bud were wrong. This is <laughs> Kerberos. Or Cerberus, Cerberus, whatever Cerberus. you prefer. Kerberos is, I think, is just the Japanese pronunciation. No, that's the Roman pronunciation. Is it? I'm yeah. sorry. Oh, how do I, there we go. So here, you can click your analog stick, your left analog stick, to change your target. Now, there are two ways to fight this boss. The way in which you just shoot his head like crazy, or the way in which you hit his feet. And, and, then, and then knock him down. Yeah. The main reason you would do the feat is because you get the guaranteed damage. And you have to kill this fucking ice before you can do that. Oh! Yeah, but, I mean, why wouldn't you go for the feat? Like, because yeah. people get scared and that's uh, their first Devil May Cry game and they don't know. Okay, well, they literally don't know. It makes your life so much easier. It sure does. So you can do this, or you can just air rave, and it's just as good... That aerial raid, aerial raid in this boss fight can actually be super, super good. Named when the... did I even take that damn? Oh, I I walked in with it. That's what happened. Aerial rave named for the Marvel vs. Capcom series. Is it? Yeah, that's where it started. The first, the first hyper game, like X Men vs. Street Fighter, when you did a Fuck. a launch and then did a combo and it goes aerial rave. So he's switching his heads around. How cool is that? Now run and jump. Always jump when you do this. You get invincibility out of it. For the startup. Yeah, for the startup, absolutely. Don't think that you get the whole thing. Also, if you look real closely at the lock-on symbol, you can see that you can see any particular part or enemy's health bar. See, now, the interesting thing about Cerberus over here is that Cerberus is a fucking fire dog in any lore. No, that's not true. Really? Yeah. Most lords put him as a fire or a physical doggo. That's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. But every, every time I've seen Cerberus before this, he's been a fire dog. I mean, he's from hell. It's a hell and dog. He's from the Dante's. He's from the Dante's Inferno Hell uh, Divine Comedy. So this is the first time I've ever and seen him. Seen Cerberus. The deepest part of hell is ice. Ah, well, this is the first time I've seen Cerberus depicted with ice. In fact, it's the only time I think I've seen it. That's basically uh, Phantom's old. Ooh. Careful. Whoa. Darn. I died. Wait, continue? I guess. <sighs> do I got my full health yet? I do. I came in with full health. There's going to be a couple of those. This game's somewhat difficult. Oh, yeah. There's uh, no, no, no overreacting to that. <laughs> like... This is very... Yeah, this is very much... Go, go do yeah, you he doesn't seem to get knocked down in his second phase. Or it takes a lot more. Well, you just gotta be, you gotta, you gotta fucking watch out for his pot shots more carefully there. Also, you have no healing mechanic yet. Hell no, I don't. Healing in this game is for nerds. Or, or devils. Indeed. The main thing about Aerial Rave here is that it can hit all of them. All of them, yeah. Which are all separate hitboxes. 
And then um, he has a move to defeat every single position you're in. How does how does point blank fireworks work in that scenario? Bad. Okay. The the guns don't do very much damage. They they just don't do very much damage. Okay. Unless you're talking about Spiral or Kalina and which we sure as fuck don't have. Uh, the main thing. Oh. The main thing about the uh, the guns is their amazing crowd control. Oh, out of here. Oh. Fuck off. So because he has an answer to everything, if I was good at the game, like really good, I could bait him into all sorts of shit. But like this I could is stand over here and do that. But this is a really good, like, early introduction boss because he doesn't actually move yeah, around. Yeah, he's, he's pretty locked down. He's stocked, he's, he's locked into the area he's in. He comes in uh, in very predictable ways. It's all, you know, and like a lot of his his attacks, like, attack the whole screen. But, like, yeah, he's based got, on that, he's you got don't, swipes to only hit near him. But you don't have to worry about where he's gonna be in the arena. You're never turning the, the camera around to chase him or anything, you know? So it's a nice, like, just mechanic lockdown. So if I had Trickster there, that would have been no problem. But I didn't. So the main thing you haven't been able to see properly because we haven't been paying attention to it is that as he uh, takes damage on those heads, some of them will pop. Which they should soon because I've been doing a shit ton of damage to him. Yeah. But uh, in addition, his eyes will light up. There's there's one. His okay. eyes will light up and that's why he does all of his three different like big attacks. And if I had remembered more about this game, I would know which attacks do what, but I... I Based on the eye lights. Yeah. yeah. So, like, the, the one that I do remember is the blue one, is the one where he drops the ice on you. Most of the well, important thing is that the bosses have tells, just like the enemies have audio cues. And, um, you know, on higher difficulties, those They're tells very important. are literally the only things keeping you alive sometimes. Who knows? I'm not even sure myself. That's bullshit. You absolutely know. <laughs> I acknowledge your ability. Take my soul and go forth. You have my blessing. Oh! Thanks! Right? Demons are like, yeah, alright, you're cool. We'll you're, hang out. You're okay, get in. They have no problem just becoming a weapon. And fucking... It's cool, bro! I love to be a weapon and hit demons. Very kind compared to Bayonetta's demons. I'd say so. Which have to be forcibly turned into monsters. Well, and that's probably because they're angels. Yeah, you're right. You know what? Demons are polite. Angels, angels are, are dicks. Are angels are dicks. So we've now gained Kerberos, a bizarre three-ended nunchuck with ice powers. We will now have the ability to do this and annoy ourselves. Trip chucks. Like, it's impossible to not hit yourself in the deck with anything that looks like this. Alright, so let's get our default combo out of the way, because this thing... You turn into... Lots of hits! Yeah, you turn into Maxi. You also have... One, two... What, what is... Which one is it? The... The, the, the delay. delay. I'm trying to... I'm trying to figure out which is the delay. There it is. There it's that's the second yeah. time. Bam! Yeah. <laughs> we also have this, which is good in ways that I can't personally use effectively. We have we have just what is essentially fireworks. Mm -hmm. uh, this is this will blow up those uh, ranged guys' attacks, I think. And we will later gain. Oh, oh no! That. Fuck it! We'll gain it right now. There, there's your lunar phase. One of the best yeah. moves in the entire yeah. game. But only when you level it up to the second level. How many combo videos fucking use that shit? All of them. Because it's the best! <laughs> Alright, well, let's get going. Like, arcing carry moves? Absolutely. Stop using I've fighting seen... game terminology here. I've seen this before. Oh my god. Troublesome dame on a motorcycle. Get out of here, Resident Evil movies. No oh guy. Oh fuck. Oh jeez. Why would you? <laughs> Blind fire the RPG. Yeah, that's back. This is the height of cutscene Dante right here. <laughs> and it's back. 
You can do it in game, baby! In pog form! <laughs> he loved it! What if Dante was just a regular person and had just died? I mean, Snake can do it. Fighting Liquid? Shut up. No, he can't. That's he did it! That's he, fan he did fiction. It. That's fucking awful fan fiction. You know who's a regular person? Lady. Lady. This just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> he was just, he's just like, I don't know what that was. But I don't yeah. know who that was, but all right. So I'm gonna get a C or a D for sure. <laughs> I did very poor. Oh my God. Like no questions, no introductions, nothing. Just whatever, man. Oh, I got a B, hey. She shot a rocket, I rode it out. It was a good time. Good for me. Like, Dante's real enemy at all times is boredom. Yeah. Okay. Look at that, that's the four. That's the four in the top, it's the yeah. banner. Yeah. That's that's the hardest, that's the one I had the, tr the longest time finding. Because you see it at the very beginning, it's kind of sideways. Looks like we have an uninvited guest. Is that so? A human. A woman. So now with the proper reveal of V, we can point I'm out that V and Arkham share a shit ton of similarities. And walking around with a fucking book. That yeah. Is what you want. Imagine if V's gameplay is... Actually, I happen to be acquainted actually, with Actually, the other thing? Oh, God. <laughs> I really... Oh, that'd be I great. I would enjoy that. Approaching. Can hey, you feel it? Moving texture face. You gotta get that fixed, bro. Ugh. Yeah, it's, uh... Ugh. Some bad acne. Yeah, teen breakouts, it happens. That is not acne, that is... You go to, you know, you come. everyone comes back after summer in grade 8. Some people have fucking Arkham face going on, you know? It's not their fault. Oh, here's the problem, I wanted... Oh. Windmill's not nearly as good. I'm not a big fan of Windmill, personally, but Revolver Level 2 is unbelievable. It's so fucking great. You have uh, any strong feelings about Windmill? I, I, I would hold my money right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, there's nothing really all I, I, I'm like, I see you looking at those moves, and I'm like, dude, I would just no, fucking... No, it's, it's important that we, we examine our yeah, options. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Level. And but. as you can see, I'm actually getting there with Swordmaster. A couple more missions, and I'll have Level 2. Level three takes an actual really long time to unlock. But um, you gotta know when to hold them. And when I get so to level to two with Swordmaster, I'm probably gonna switch to Trickster for level two, because Trickster level two is amazing. Cause here's the thing, you're not gonna be doing any orb grinding later on in this. Orb grinding? Fuck you, I am. Oh, okay, then never mind. I need those moves. Okay, then never mind. All right, then well, I'm just not doing it here, because it's session okay. one. Yeah, yeah, all right. Then, then then do what you want. I assumed you were just going to be going straight. Well, this has a mission which... select, unlike fucking DMC1. But going through this straight requires really smart spending. Oh, yeah. Spending. You pick two weapons. <laughs> you pick two weapons, and you use them, yeah. which sucks, because you get a bunch of weapons later in the game that are all weird and cool. But why are you going to spend on that? All right, so we have now reached the primary location of the main game, which is Temenigru, which is a big evil tower. Don't, don't say it's smooth to make it cool. It's Temenigru. So the main thing about Temenigru that bums me out is that it's just not as cool as the castle in the first one. It's like... But it's kind of like Tartarus. It is totally like Tartarus, and it does have, like, this cool angel statue is fucking awesome. It's a rad one. That's rad. And it, I can see that it has some design elements from, like, Mundus's final area, because it's nice looking. Also, you can ride a motorcycle down the side of it. But, it's, it's just not as interesting to me. Yeah. Well, yes and no in the sense that it's a tower, so you know what's going to happen. You're just going to keep going up. And I'm sure we'll talk about it later. Yeah, yeah you're right. And you go sideways all over the place, too. Yeah. We'll talk about it later, but the biggest difference in this... By the way, look at this Stinger compared to the fucking first episode. God. But the main thing about Stinger in this game is Stinger level 1 is still pretty good. Stinger level 2 just increases the distance, not the speed. <laughs> which is important. Also, no, think about the little foie Stinger that we looked at versus the screen shake on this one. And just in terms of impact. Right? 
there you style go. is now very easy to do. Oh, no finish it. Okay. You have five different types of fucking prop shredder now, essentially. So you can just spin, spin. Oh, uh, what spin. finisher are you saying? What? Bad. I, that is the yeah, finisher. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. You're right. You silly man. What the fuck? Who could possibly be attacking me? All right. I I, I thought he had like a with both no, hands. Oh, absolutely no, no. not. Your memory fails you once again. It does. It's going to continue. The one time in ever that Crazy Talk is stronger or is weak is going to be this game. Mm. And Ari too. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get over there. Oh, fuck y'all. So, you can already tell what these enemies are. They're annoying. They're annoying. And I don't like them. They're annoyances for their later for later on. They're fucking taking pot shots while you're fighting. So yeah, I just fight. tested it. This totally breaks their projectiles. Oh fuck off. Yeah, now that's about at a weird angle too. And they're just strong enough that you have trouble shooting them from a distance, but they're weak enough that they don't really give you style. Um. Who's left? Oh, yeah, one's left. And these always screw me up, because they only proc when they're this close to you. And, well, the teleport later on, like, it helps. fucking just goes, where, who, there, okay. Oh, hit our one, hit the board in circle. <laughs> See what happens. Yeah, absolutely. And there we go, we did it. Gotta have Revolver level two, because the next two bosses are very weak to it. Very weak to it. You know, I never quite realized that this is a prelude of things to come. Smashing these fucking statues. Oh. That, this, uh, this jump move, uh, sorry, this one, fuck off, is actually super good, but I'm bad with it. So it's like, uh, cause you, like, you, you like, uh, uh, enemy step afterwards, and, and like, you just do it, and do, a just do it, and do it, and do it, and pop, do it, pop, 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 pop. Well, I had, if I had fucking revolver level two, I would be getting more orbs out of this, that's for sure. I so much prefer Dante's uh, move set in this game compared to it in four. Also, to those who were worried that you know, oh, I think she costs so much in the store, and I'm you drown in orbs compared to the first game. Uh, there's such, there's some cool crazy shit in four, yeah. but overall this is better. Overall this is absolutely better. Well, because two of the weapons overlap, and I and you have like five extra ones in this compared to to four. Um, but like, just some of that wacky shit you can do with Pandora is and Dreadnought. Pandora is the winner on the gun side. That's the for thing, sure. right? It's such a sick, crazy weapon. Oh, um, here we go. Here's what enables combo videos to exist. These guys fucking take so much damage. They take so much. Come here. Oh, wait, I'm thinking of the other ones, not the sand guys. Or am I thinking of a harder difficulty? I don't know what you're thinking of. I'm thinking of the old Elysium music video. Oh, shit! God, that's annoying. Yeah, also get used to your cameras. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that shit will absolutely not help you out. If you choose to fight in a hallway like this, then fuck off. Yeah, also a glimpse of the, the, the blorb. Oh, I saw it. Don't you worry. A glimpse of the blorb. And that would be the first buff. Oh, enemy step is so much more forgiving here. 
I honestly, like, switching mid combo is obviously the shit, but I found switching during your taunts to be the easiest way to get stuff. Oh, yeah, okay, <laughs> yeah. That's a, because it's free time. That's a logical break. Um, but uh, it's not swag it's not as, though, yeah. so... <laughs> Kind you're of gonna hear some, you're gonna hear a very bizarre statement from here from my mouth just now so get ready the best way that I found with the style meter in these games is to look at style as like an efficiency meter I you min max your style fuck off you, you have to min fuck off I'm, you're not gonna ruin this for me I can ruin <laughs> anything for anyone sir <laughs> you're not going to don't you tell me what I'm not gonna ruin. This game is unruinable. Yeah, it certainly is. You're fucking. You're 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 actually you're crunching style numbers. Yeah, and, dude. Yeah. Because every time I use, well, everyone does. Yes. If you're trying to abuse the style meter, because you hit the you hit the you hit say, stinger, and then you go, don't use stinger for ten seconds. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, and then you. But you, that's just. But that's just a. You hit revolver, and then you go, don't do revolver again for five seconds. But that's that. You know, that's just skull drills like combos, really. <laughs> you just. You're just kind of going like, yeah, don't do the thing you just did. Don't do it. Oh, look at that. Which I have enough. becomes easier and easier as uh, you get further and further. What does this say? Steal thy soul. The future knows no bounds for those who definitely march forward to meet it. Okay. Uh. Uh-oh. Ooh. That is that fucking public domain goat noise that is used in everything! I was gonna say it sounds like, um, um, someone dying in, uh, it sounds like Chang from KOF when he gets, when he gets KO'd. He goes, oh, oh, oh. Fuck off. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just just to keep you on your toes, you know? Like, don't start feeling yourself too hard. Ow. Generous OTGs, too. Very Really, generous. really generous OTGs here. I love that burst that, was that they yellow. make. Yeah. Like, they fly apart from the point of impact. It's so satisfying. So that flip back and slash thing, the flip back is where you get primed to Royal Guard. Right? Um, I forgot. That's later. And, uh... uh yeah, and anyway, and so it just... The cool thing about trying to figure out Royal Guard is that it forces you to pay attention to the enemy patterns. Fuck off, man. Which you already have to do, but it really makes you do it. And look at Dante's not reflection. Oh, shut up. You don't you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Fucking hate that noise. It's so awful. But I'm so glad it's so annoying because you never miss it. Oh hell no. There's no missing that. Yeah. So unfortunately, take one hit of damage. Mm -hmm. Style go down. Oh fuck. Um, the other thing fucking solid about this game is you don't have to think about lock on. It works. It, you know. Like, I, I feel like, um... Wait, what do you mean you don't have to think about it? Like, I mean, like, because, okay, you know, like, the, 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 the soft locking that you kind of get, uh, 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 with, like, Bayo and stuff? Yeah. Like, do you, well, like, how do you, well, how do you actually feel? Like, do you, do you prefer? I prefer you a soft lock on that's really, really good. Uh, but here, you just hold that button, and then you click the left, left stick, and you have 100% total control. The only problem I have is when a game doesn't have lock on of any kind. Well, but because the thing is, having only a soft lock means that it's not. You still sometimes you don't want to be looking at the closest thing. That's to correct. You, and that that shit sucks. Sometimes you want to have an enemy, and you want to make that enemy die. All right, 